Imagine a weapon that thinks for itself. This isn't science fiction. It's flying right now. A silent revolution in air power is happening, and it's changing the world. One country, Israel, has taken the world's most advanced fighter jet, the F-35, and made it even deadlier. They've built their own secret weapons that work where others fail. This changes everything about war. For years, the F-35 was the king of the sky. It's stealthy, meaning it's incredibly hard for enemy radar to see it. It's packed with sensors that see everything. It's a masterpiece of technology. But Israel looked at this amazing machine and said, we can do better. They created their own version called the F-35I Adir, which means mighty one. And they gave it a new set of teeth. So what makes this jet so different? It's not the jet itself, but what it carries hidden inside its belly. While other countries use standard American bombs, Israel designed its own. These are weapons built for one of the toughest battlefields on Earth, the Middle East. They solve problems that other weapons can't. Let's talk about the numbers. Since late 2023, these Israeli F-35s have flown over 15,000 hours in combat. They were the first to shoot down a drone the first to intercept a cruise missile, and now they are the first to use these new, secret weapons in real combat. If you think air power controls who wins a war, type yes in the comments, because what you're about to learn proves the game has been completely reset. Here's the big problem these new weapons fix. How do you hit a target that's very far away, protected by the best air defenses in the world, without being seen. For decades, this was a nightmare for any air force. Now, Israel has an answer, and they proved it in a real battle. In October of 2024, a huge attack was launched against Israel. Over 180 missiles came flying in. The world watched. The response from Israel was swift and shocking. It was called Operation Days of Repentance. But to understand how they did it, you first need to see the tools that made it possible. The first and most important weapon is called the Spice Bomb. It's made by an Israeli company called Raphael. The Spice Bomb solves one huge problem, GPS jamming. In a modern war, the first thing an enemy does is jam your GPS signals. It's like blinding you. American bombs, called JDAMs, rely on GPS. When the GPS is jammed, they become useless. They can't find their target. The spice bomb doesn't need GPS. It has a brain of its own. Before a mission, soldiers feed it a picture of the target area. As the bomb flies, a small camera in its nose takes live pictures of the ground. Its computer brain compares what it sees with the picture it memorized. It literally looks at the ground and recognizes where it is, guiding itself to the target. It's like a self-driving car, but for bombs. Think about that, a bomb that can see. This is a total game changer. There are different types of spice bombs. The Spice 1000 is a big one with a 1000 pound warhead. It can glide over 60 miles to its target, this means the F-35 jet can stay far away, safely outside the range of enemy air defenses. It drops the bomb and turns away. The bomb does all the hard work alone. And it is terrifyingly accurate, hitting within just a few feet of its target. But there's an even smarter part. The bomb has a live video link. The pilot can watch what the bomb sees right up until the moment of impact. If he sees civilians walking near the target, he can abort the mission. If the target moves, he can tell the bomb to follow it. If the enemy puts out a decoy, the pilot will see it's fake and pick the real target. This is not just a bomb, it's a precision tool. There is a smaller version, the Spice 250. 
Because it's small, a single F-35 can carry 16 of them. That means one jet can attack 16 different targets in a single mission. Before, you might need eight jets to do the same job. This is a huge force multiplier. Now, smart bombs are amazing, but they are only one part of the story. The enemy has deep, strong bunkers buried under mountains. They have heavily defended sites. For these, Israel has two other terrifying weapons. The next weapon is called the Rampage. This is a missile that is all about speed and surprise. Most cruise missiles fly slow and low to avoid radar. The Rampage does the opposite. After the F-35 launches it, a rocket motor ignites. The missile shoots up high into the sky, then screams down on its target faster than the speed of sound. From the moment an enemy radar sees it, they only have seconds to react. It's often too late. This missile is perfect for taking out air defense sites, radar stations, and command centers. It punches through the roof before the enemy can even hide. The third special weapon doesn't have a fancy name. People just call it the one-ton bomb. You can guess how much it weighs. Its only job is to destroy the deepest, most hardened bunkers. Countries like Iran have spent billions to build underground facilities to protect their nuclear and chemical programs. A normal bomb would just explode on the surface. This bomb is different. It's designed to punch through meters of solid concrete, burrow deep inside, and then explode. It completely destroys everything inside. And crucially, it also fits inside the F-35's hidden weapons bay, so the jet stays invisible. So you have three tools, a smart bomb that sees, a super fast missile, and a bunker buster. Why such a mix? Because in war, you need the right tool for the right job. You don't use a sledgehammer to fix a watch. In October of 2024, Israel used its entire toolbox. When those 180 missiles were launched at Israel, the response was a massive air attack. Over 100 Israeli jets struck back at 20 targets across Iran, Iraq, and Syria. The F-35I Adir jets were the leaders. Their mission was the most dangerous, fly into Iranian airspace, stay completely invisible, and take out the air defense systems. Iran has Russian S-300 air defense systems. These are some of the best in the world. On paper, they should be able to find and shoot down any plane, even stealth ones. But they didn't. The Israeli F-35s flew straight through them. Satellite photos taken after the strike showed the S-300 radars were destroyed. Air defense batteries were wiped out, key factories were hit, and every single Israeli F-35 came home safely. They flew a round trip of nearly 2,000 kilometers, and no one even saw them coming. This was the proof. This wasn't a fight against a small militia. This was a successful attack on a modern, high-tech air defense network. It sent a shockwave through the world's militaries. If you have stealth and long-range smart weapons, you can make the enemy's best defenses useless. But the story gets even more interesting. In a surprising move, Israel then showed the world something new. They started flying the F-35 in what's called beast mode. This means they loaded extra bombs on the outside of the jet's wings. Wait, you might think, doesn't that ruin the stealth? If you hang bombs on the outside, the radar can see the jet much more easily. So why would they do that? The answer is brilliant in its simplicity. Flexibility. Against a powerful enemy like Iran, you need full stealth. But against a group with no air defenses like Hamas, you don't need to be invisible. You just need to carry as many bombs as possible. In beast mode, the F-35 can carry four huge 2,000-pound bombs on its wings, plus its internal weapons. This turns it into a bomb truck, a flying fortress that can level entire city blocks in one pass. It means you need fewer jets and fewer missions to do the same job. 
This makes the F-35I the most flexible fighter jet in the world. One day, it's an invisible ghost. The next day, it's a flying hammer. No other country does this in real combat. With thousands of combat missions under its belt, the Israeli F-35 has more real fighting experience than all of the American, British, and other F-35s combined. American pilots now study Israeli tactics. The whole F-35 program gets better because of what Israel learns in real battles. But there's one last piece to this puzzle. How does this jet rule the sky against other planes? For that, Israel again chose its own weapon, the Python 5 air-to-air -air missile. In a dogfight, the pilot who sees the enemy first and shoots first wins. The F-35's stealth lets it see first. The Python, the Python 5 missile makes sure it shoots first. Most heat-seeking missiles need the pilot to point the plane at the enemy, get a solid lock, and then fire. This takes time and warns the enemy. The Python 5 is different. The pilot can fire the missile first. After it launches, the missile's own seeker turns on and looks for the heat from the enemy plane. It locks on after launch. The F-35 can fire and then turn away, while the missile finds its own way to the target. It's like a homing pigeon of death. Because it fits inside the weapons bay, the jet can launch it without losing its stealth. The enemy might not even know a missile is coming until it's too late. This missile has already seen combat. An Israeli F-35 used a Python 5 to shoot down Iranian drones. It was the first ever air-to-air -air kill for an F-35 anywhere in the world. So what does all this mean for the world? Before, attacking a country like Iran was a huge risky operation. It required mid-air refueling, large groups of planes, and would likely mean losing pilots. Now, the equation has changed. A few F-35I jets can do the job. They can fly in unseen, drop their smart bombs from a safe distance, and leave. The enemy only knows they were there when their buildings start exploding. This knowledge is a powerful deterrent. It changes how leaders in Iran and other countries make their decisions. They know they are vulnerable. This new technology has shifted the balance of power. It's also a great partnership. America gave Israel a fantastic jet. Israel, through real-world combat, has made the jet even better and provides priceless data back to the US. This helps improve the F-35 for everyone. We should also remember the human element. The pilots and ground crews who keep these complex machines flying, maintaining an 85% readiness rate during intense war, are some of the best in the world. Their skill makes all this possible. The age of the dumb bomb is over. The age of the invisible thinking weapon is here. The rules of war have been rewritten, and most of the world is just catching up. If this look into the future of combat was interesting, please show your support by liking this video and subscribing to Winds of Thought. We break down the big ideas shaping our world. Thanks for watching.